Good evening and welcome to Zwingli United Church of Christ on this wonderful night in which we celebrate the birth of our Savior on this Christmas Eve. So glad that all of you are here, uh, those that are in person as well as those who are in Facebook live streaming. Great to have you and are really, I'm really looking forward to this program tonight and with the youth. We practiced a little bit earlier today and so it, it, it was cool. So hope you enjoy. I uh, wanted to let you know about a few things after the service today. Um, on one of the tables back there, there are some cookies that are packed up, and so those cookies have to be gone by the time you're gone. So please take some if you would like so, if you'd like to take some, and please take some even if you don't want to take some. So please take those cookies. We, we need to make sure that they're gone. And also, we will not be taking an offering during the service. Uh, but if you'd like to leave an offering, uh, offering plates will be available uh, as you leave the service this evening. So this is going to be a modified Lessons in Carols program tonight. Um, the educators were really important in putting all of this together, and so I want to thank them. You can look in your bulletin at the end uh, for all those who have been a part of this. I also want to thank the youth for all of the things that they have already done and will be doing and sharing their faith with us. And also want to uh, thank Pastor Allen and ask prayers for him. Um, he had to leave unexpectedly to deal with a family crisis in Ohio. And so he is there with his parents and his brother and uh, it's just prayers for him and for their situation there. As well as prayers for everyone that on this evening may be having difficult times or might be suffering from illness. Um, this is usually a joyous time for all of us, but there are also those who are uh, struggling right now. So please make sure that you pray for them as well. But as for tonight, tonight is a time of joy, a time of enjoyment, a time for family. And so let us enter into this time, opening our hearts and minds and souls to the spirit of Christ in our midst. Christmas is coming. We're planning a party. Come join us now. We don't want to be tardy. You can help us get ready. There's so much to do. We want to just write for Jesus and you. This party is special because you will see it honors dear Jesus, a best friend to me.
First, we put up decorations, trim the trees so fine. Silver bells and twinkling lights make our room just shine. What's that we heard outside this room? It's carols in song. I love to hear the carols sung. I'd listen all day long. Let's not forget the presents, the gifts to one and all. The packages are brightly wrapped, some great big and some small. These presents are for others whom we love and set apart. I give the gift I give the gift I give to Jesus is a gift within my heart. <laughs>
there's one more important thing we want to emphasize. The Bible tells about the birth. It's right before our eyes. And she lied him in a manger, Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days, a decree went out from, out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Carneus was governor of Syria. All went to their towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of Bethlehem because he was descended from the house of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged, was engaged, was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for him to go in the inn. bringing you good news of great joy. Luke chapter 2 verses 8 through 12. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you, to you is this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was the and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory to God in the highest heaven and earth on peace among those whom he favors
They saw the child with Mary Matthew. Chapter 2, verse 11. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. And they knelt down and paid him with homage. Then opening the treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The Prince of Peace, Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders. And he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. First, we light the candle of hope. Second, we light the candle of peace. Third, we light the candle of joy. Fourth, we light the candle of love. Finally, we light the center candle. This is the Christ candle. Our Christmas can be merry and filled with cheer and joy, all because of dear Jesus, God's precious little boy. So go out into the world proclaiming God's love and light 
and may you make a world filled with God's laughter and delight. Thank you.